Well, hey guys, and welcome. My name is Hunter McWaters. I'm the host of the Hunter's Quest podcast. And today I'm gonna to take you through kind of my top five clothing items um, that are just really versatile items that pretty much stay in my pack um, from the early season right on through. Now, I do most of my Western hunting right now in Alaska as well as you know when I'm at home here in Southeast Virginia. So I really like the Summit pattern, which incorporates a lot of green into it, but also the new Solace pattern is really good as well. But um, these are the five items that pretty much stay in my pack uh, no matter what. So I'm gonna start from the ground up. You know, you wanna um, take care of your feet on these multi-day backpacking hunts. It's just so important. So you wanna have a quality merino wool sock. This is the accelerator sock from Scree Gear. And uh, you know, merino wool, I think a lot of guys know, but it just has great qualities in terms of thermoregulating your feet. You know, it keeps you uh, warm when it's cold out, uh, but it's, it's not too hot, it's breathable, so you can wear it even in the heat. I wear these things training in the summer all the way you know, up through late season. So you can see these ones have, uh, these accelerator socks have a little bit of extra cushioning on the heel and the toe area, and they're really comfortable. Uh, these, are, these are great socks for early season, for training. So you definitely want to start with a merino uh, type of sock on the bottom. Um, next piece of gear is something that I didn't really know anything about as a flatlander. Um, but found it to be crucial for um, Alaska and other places out west. Um, this is a, you know your gator, and these are going to go um, you know over top of your boots on the top on the bottom part of your legs. These just help it make make it easier to move through thick brush, um, you know, or tundra, whatever it may be. Um, especially when it's wet, it will keep that moisture from accumulating on the bottom of your pants. And, uh, and then wicking and seeping down into your boots and soaking your boots and your socks. Um, also, you know, it keeps debris or snow from getting in the top of your boots. And I found the other day, you can see I was out there using them the other day, and uh, you know, I accidentally stepped into a puddle that was about three or four inches deep, I thought. It turns out it was about three or four inches over the top of my boots. And, uh, but because I was wearing these guys, it didn't go in over my boots and uh, kept me dry. So uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that on purpose, but you know, if you accidentally step into some water that's a little deeper than you thought, they might be the thing that keeps you dry. So um, it's definitely a crucial piece of gear uh, for out west. Um, next, you know, I've talked about the benefits of merino wool. Um, I love wearing merino as a base layer, uh, not only on my feet, but you know, under my pants and um, in my top as well. Um, but you know, for a long time, I struggled with do I wear the the long johns or not because, you know, it can be really annoying when you get hot. It feels like your legs are sweaty. I hate that feeling. So, um, but in the new uh, the new Solace pattern, um, these merino bottoms are really handy because as you can see, they have a zipper here, and you can just zip all the way up, Velcro on top. And so you can just take these things off, uh, you know, during the middle of the day when it gets hotter um, without taking your boots and your pants off, which is just really handy. Um, so those things will stay in my pack all year because, you know, sometimes in the morning you want a little extra warmth on the bottom half. But, you know, by midday you're sweating and it's easy to take those things off without going and taking off all your gear. So love those. Um, next is a good puffy layer. Um, this is the Ptarmigan jacket from Scree Gear. It's got 850 uh, water resistant goose down and uh, it only weighs 15 ounces. And as you can see, it packs down into this little stuff sack that comes with it. So the warmth to weight ratio is just so good that um, I, I always have one of these. I just like having the peace of mind of knowing kind of no matter what happens, you know, I'm gonna be warm, you know, whether you're in Alaska or the desert or the Rocky Mountains, you know, weather can fluctuate a lot from morning to, you know, midday into evening. Uh, weather systems can roll in, and this thing is just so small and compact and light. I know if I have this in my pack, kind of no matter what happens, I'll be warm. So, just opening this guy up. Um, I, I actually like the Solace pattern for my puffies because I'm, if I am going to be wearing these at home, it's going to be in the late season when most of the green is gone anyway. 
So um, I want solace on this one. But it's just a super comfortable jacket. Like I said, very lightweight, but very warm. Um, the other thing about Goose Down is, uh, though it is very warm, it's really breathable. And so I find that I don't really get very hot, you know, in down. Um, so it's, it's great about that. You gotta love those natural materials for those properties. So anyway, um, yeah, it's a great jacket. And always have that in my pack. Just having a peace of mind that I'm pretty much gonna be warm no matter what. Lastly, um, for you know the places I hunt, rain gear is a must. Um, this is the Nebo rain pants and rain jacket. You know, I like I said, you know, I always have rain gear in my pack. It's just the peace of mind of knowing I'm gonna stay dry no matter what. Um, and you know, if you're hunting in Alaska, places like that, it's just a must. Um, the pants again have a you know adjustable waistband so you can you know take it up and down here and uh, again they zip all the way off and on which is again super convenient to get them on quick and easy um, and the jacket everything's fully taped um, on the inside material is breathable and fairly quiet actually um, they definitely keep you dry I've tested them and tested these things in some really bad downpours definitely keep you dry and I like to get my rain gear a little bit on the big bigger size and these are kind of sized that way because I, I want to be able to throw these on over top of my puffies if I need to um, but also you can see it's got a nice big hood but it's got these uh, adjustable elastic things here so that you can really cinch those down and get it to where you're really well covered but it's not obstructing your sight um, it's not getting in your eyes so it's really good rain gear and I feel like this this rain gear has really hit that sweet spot of being um, lightweight and breathable and packable, but also pretty durable. Um, I had some rain gear last year that was very durable, but it was extremely heavy. It was almost as big as my sleeping bag, took up tons of room in my pack, and it was a couple pounds. This stuff is uh, really light and packable, but you don't feel like it's gonna rip apart on you. Hey guys, so these are you know five of my favorite pieces of clothing gear that are really versatile that pretty much live in my pack from early season straight on through. So go ahead and check out Scree Gear at ScreeGear.com. And if you get a minute, check out the Hunter's Quest podcast, uh, or you can find me on Instagram at the Hunter's Quest. And uh, hope this video is helpful for you guys. I hope you guys have a great season, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.